Hi Special Agents, Mrs G back again with some more reading comprehension practice. Let's do some scanning and skimming and remember these are top secret tips just for Special Agents. Don't share them with anyone. Okay, look for clues in the text to help you choose the right answer when you find it, underline it. Sometimes you might not need to read the whole of the story. You could have a read of the question and find and underline what the question is looking for. So let's try that approach today. Practice question A. Who had a tooth that twisted round and round? And we've got a choice of names, Miriam, Leo, William or Rosa. So we need to look in the text for where it says round and round. Okay, have a scan and skim on the top of the story called Wibble Wobble for the words round and round. When you find it, underline it. Got it? Okay, and we need to look for a name. Round and round and roses lay flat on its back. No, we need to go back to the beginning of the sentence with the words round and round in it. And I can read Leo's twisted round and round. So who had a tooth that twisted round and round? Leo, you would put a tick in that box and get that question right. Well done. Okay, number 13, let's read the question first and scan and skim and find and underline. See if that can help us be super readers. What did William do at school the next morning? Ate some sweets, painted a picture, had a rest or told his tooth story. So we need to scan and skim for the next morning and see if we can find the answer. So it's right at the beginning. Let's read this sentence. The next morning, William told everyone his wobbly tooth story. What did he tell them? His wobbly tooth story. So we will tick, he told his tooth story. Well done, if you got the answer, fantastic. Okay, practice question A. What are the children's memories about? Now, throughout the video, if you want to read the text and pause it to yourself, you can. But let's just practice the skill of scanning and skimming this week. What are the children's memories about? So let's go back to the text in blue and search and scan and skim for memories. There you go. There are some children's memories of what? I'm going to keep underlining. What happened when they moved house? So what are they, their memories about? What happened when they moved house? So all you would need to write is something like when they moved house and you would get the mark. Well done guys, fantastic. Practice question A. What fruit was growing on the tree? Okay, we've got a choice of oranges, lemons, bananas and mangoes. So I found the word tree and underlined it there, mango tree. And I can also spot and scan and skim the word mangoes. If I go back to the question, I can see that mangoes is a choice. So I would put a tick in the mangoes box. Well done. Fantastic. Where do crocodiles come from? The sea, gardens, hot countries or cold countries. So let's go back and check and see where crocodiles come from. So we're going to look for the words come from. Start from the top, scan and skim, read through quickly. When we find come from, we're going to find it and underline it. Ah, they come from hot parts of the world. Hot parts of the world. What answer could we tick for that one? There I can see the word hot in one of the choices. They come from hot parts of the world. So the answer to that one must be hot countries and it's the word hot in both the text and the answer that gave me that clue well done number 17 why do crocodiles have to be moved so that they grow bigger to take them to the zoo so that they cannot hurt people or to put them in water let's go back to the text and find the words have to be moved scan and skim for that and see if the answer is around there so start from the beginning scan and skim reading through quickly for the word moved so they could be moved I'm going to keep reading away from places where they might hurt or scare people so why did the crocodiles have to be moved so they cannot hurt people well done if you got the answer fantastic Number five, what was it like in the woods? Bright and sunny, dark and gloomy, light and airy, cold and wet. Let's go and look for the word wood or woods. There's the word wood, 
dark and gloomy woods well done and sometimes when you see multiple choice you can see the words dark and gloomy when you're scanning and skimming you can see the answer in the text fantastic 11 the miller grinds the grains to make them into tick one seeds flour wheat or dough we need to go back and find the words grinds the grains and see if we can find what they grind the grains into so when we find it underline it there we go great grinds the grains of wheat into that's it flour would be the answer that we need to tick there well done fantastic super readers okay d what animals did cowboys look after so we need to see what they look after so I'm going to look for the word look or after to help me scan and skim and underlined it looked after cows the animal word there is cows so what animals did cowboys look after just write the animal cows well done fantastic another excellent reading super special agents well done number 14 what covered most of the land in North America 200 years ago so we're going to look for the word covered most of the land we're going to scan and skim read quickly and underline when we see the words covered most of the land there they are Co grass covered most of the land ah what covered most of the land you just need to put the word grass fantastic job well done and you would get the tick for that one superb well done special agents leave me a like if you're tuning in next time don't share these top secret tips with anyone else bye for now